So all the portals that were nominated for the Dev Portal Awards in 2021 were considered for the best overall enterprise uh, or the best overall SME developer portal award. As the jury progressed in the evaluation, it became clear that the best in class developer portals, of course, also stood out for their overall excellence. The jury considered a short list of developer portals with at least one best in class win independently of the total number of wins or status as a runner up. This is the list of the finalists for the overall Enterprise Developer Portal Award. The jury chose a portal that is able to manage huge complexity. Everything on this portal is structured in a consistent way, holding a lot of products, but also a lot of video content, detailed reference docs, and getting started tutorials. The jury pointed out the great navigation and easy filtering. Overall, this portal manages its offerings in a way that makes it simple for a new site visitor to understand what everything they can see is about. Family. <laughs> so, do you do the honors? <laughs> Who is the winner? The winner for the Enterprise Jury Prize is Fusion Creator Developer Portal. Congratulations. Uh, we'd like to invite uh, Raja. Uh, Hristova, um, who is a senior manager, UX and design to the stage. Thank you. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, uh, Raja. Uh, yeah, uh, so it, it's it's Raya and I'm oh, Raya? So, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. But I'm so, so excited and I cannot be more proud. Uh, so thank on behalf of Finastra and Fusion Fabric uh, dot cloud team to the to the organizers of the event, to the jury, to our community, to our, all our partners, fintechs, the whole ecosystem to make this happen. It does mean a lot, uh, really a lot. So I'm very, very happy, proud and, and excited to be uh, receiving this award. So thank you and to everyone who, who made this possible. Um, so how like how big is your efforts like how many people are working on your portal team and, and right. what kind of roles do you have so it is a really a cross-functional collaboration uh we do have a fairly uh, small design team uh, but uh it's overall i would say the core it's around 100 people 100. Uh, yeah. plus yeah with that, that involve barriers of course areas from marketing, sales, uh, core developers. Uh, so I cannot really count everyone, but it, it's around 100. That's a huge team. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah. And um, like, well, you're, you're in an interesting area. Uh, like there's, there's a lot of, lot of stuff happening in like the, the, the FinTech industry. Like what, what are you looking forward to in 2022 besides having live events again? <laughs> so... <laughs> right. Um, right. So, so I just want to, to make sure that, uh, well, that we continue improving. So the API team, the front end, the back end team, everyone uh, is constantly learning and growing uh, based on the feedback we get from our partners, FinTechs and, and the community. Uh, as you mentioned, we are operating uh, in the financial industry. So we deliver mission critical financial services. And our ambition is to, to make it possible to even uh, make it easier to integrate those experiences in the context of use even for businesses. Mm -hmm. So opening up not only for financial institutions, but even for small medium enterprises to include and integrate financial uh, services in the context of, uh, of their persona journeys with the help of the, of the community that is building uh, those solutions on the portal and offering them through the marketplace. So I would say is that is reinforcing the whole ecosystem, continuing on the open innovation. And by the way, we have a upcoming hackathon, uh, the fourth one in a row that's gonna start in March, 2022. Uh, and that's really a source of also uh, inspiration and growth of, of how we can unlock the potential of everyone to 
to make finance, create a more open uh, financial experience. Mm -hmm. And is it, um, that's, it sounds a little bit like you're doing something similar to what KBC is doing with like building blocks for, for people that are not necessarily developers. Mm -hmm. And, and and exactly so so when i uh i listened to kbc i i couldn't relate more uh, because we also want to make the experience as smooth as possible uh which means thinking about the end-to-end -end user experience of a developer uh so with the back end apis or data set building blocks we also offer uh angular components or sample apps that are already connected so so yeah, yeah. Uh, on github developers can very easily get inspired and uh, and get started faster and publish their application easily with a, like a very quick onboard step-by-step uh, -step wizard very cool well I'll, I'll be very much for uh, like i'll be following what how things evolve and and what you'll be doing because it's really really interesting thank you very and much again thank you thank you so much thank you for participating congratulations